guys. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the steamer that I'm really hoping that we can get. Um, and I wanted to tell you how important the steamer is to us here at SHARE. Um, it's, I use it all the time. We use it all the time. And literally, if I had to choose between the steamer and the oven, it would be a toss up. That's how much we use it. Uh, we use it for everything. We, we steam eggs in it um, to make hard boiled eggs. We steam potatoes to do roasted or mashed potatoes. We steam our vegetables. Um, we reheat meat. We reheat thick um, things like stew or chili, things like that, that if you put it in the oven, it's, it's not only gonna take forever, but it's gonna get really um, hot around the edges and in the center maybe still not as hot, but the steamers, it keeps everything moist. Um, and it heats thoroughly, heats everything thoroughly. So it's just, it's just a, a really amazing thing to have. And um, I just, we make rice in it. We, I mean, we make so many things in it. Um, and I wanted to just tell you a little bit about why I really think I would like to have, for us to have a new one. Um, I've been here for almost 13 years. And when I first started here, we had a, an old steamer. I believe that steamer had been given to us used and um, it, had a, it had a manual igniter, so it had a gas tank that would fill up with the gas. Uh, they call it a combustion tank. And then I would have to push a button to make a spark to light the, the combustion tank to start heating up the steamer. And it, it, so I would have to push that button sometimes like 15 times. Just, I would just stand there, be pushing the button, trying to make it light. Um, and then there came a time where it stopped working, so we called a repairman. And he came in here and he opened it up and he was like, he was, he obviously had a fear on his face. And he said, uh, nobody is to touch this or use it. I'm going to unhook it immediately. He said, it's very dangerous. He said that the combustion tank was all uh, rusted and had holes all in it and he said it the whole thing could have exploded at any moment um so that was just kind of scary to me so we had a volunteer that did some fundraising for us and she came up with the money to buy our current one and two different times we've had it for probably about 10 years close to it anyway um two times we've had an issue with it where uh, for long periods of time, it would, it has an automatic igniter. Um, so the combustion tank fills with the gas and then you hear this little clicking and then all of a sudden there's a big whoosh and, and the automatic igniter lights the, the gas in the combustion tank. So we came to this part where it wasn't working like it should. Um, and I would hear that clicking and then all of a sudden the combustion tank would light and, and there's a chimney on top of the steamer. A big fireball would come out the top of the chimney about the size of a, like a volleyball or maybe a basketball, a really big one. Like it, it was very scary to me. Um, so we got in a repairman and got it fixed and it worked for a while and then it started happening again. Um, and it went on like that for a couple of weeks until we could get it fixed again and right now it's not doing that but that's two different times where it was um, kind of a, a fireball would erupt out of the top of it when we were using it and, and it, to me it was very scary so still every single morning when I turn on the steamer and I hear that clicking knowing that it's about to ignite um, it scares me like I, I if I'm anywhere where I can get behind something the ovens or something I do. I'm not trying to be a drama queen. I'm just like, it, it really is scary to me after seeing that kind of mini explosion happening. Um, like I said, right now it's working great, um, but I just think it's probably a matter of time because it's happened a couple of times and it's getting older. Um, so I, I, I just would, I, it's really important for us to have a, a steamer that's in good working order because we use it so much and we feed so many people. We're, serving um, right now over 300, about 300 and close to 350 meals a day we're sending out to, to other places and feeding people here. So 
Anyway, thank you so much, and I, ho I hope you have a wonderful day.